Slight change of scene today, I'm in my dining room instead of the studio and I've got this Yamaha U30 upright piano here which I love playing, I love the sound of it. I want to be able to record it, but as you can hear it's in an extremely echoey room. There's plaster, wood, glass, all of the surfaces you don't really want to record with. So how am I going to do it then? At 246 kilograms, it's a little bit hard to carry into the studio. So I've got to bring the recording process to the piano. How am I going to do that then and mitigate against all this echo? Well, in this video, I'm going to go through a few different approaches, a few different tricks and very easy things to do just to dampen it down a bit. Here I am then, I'm going to record something on the piano and I'm going to use a backing track. I've made something up in the studio, so I'm going to record something and I'm going to record it onto the disc clavier system that's built with this piano so that in the interests of impartiality, I can play exactly the same thing back with all of the acoustic things that I'm going to do. So I've got a backing track that does sort of this, it's just to count in. So it's like eight bars of just sort of fairly sort of bitty grooves, so it will reveal lots of echo. So I'm just going to play along with this. I'll just stick this down on the side. And then record something. Okay, so there's my sort of G minor eight bar thing. Now I'm gonna play that back with a few different things, a few different acoustic treatments, and then we'll listen to them in the studio and see how this is gonna work. So for each of the recordings I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be using the Zoom IQ6, this fantastic little stereo mic plugged into an iPhone. As you can see on the, the display of the iPhone, it's showing my stereo level and it's recording in WAV quality as well, no MP3s here. So I'm just going to put the phone over here, mount the mic onto my just a little spring-loaded mic clip there. This little cable just means that you can have the phone sighted elsewhere. The first thing to do is to play back this, the same thing that I recorded, I'm going to play back on this mic. So I've got to announce the recording as well. This is with the piano front on, with the mic close, no acoustic treatments. Compound the problems that we've got here, this floor, it's like you're on some galleon somewhere, it squeaks and creaks and does all sorts, so I've got to be really extra still while I'm recording this, ideally go out of the room. Now, at the moment, it's just listening to the piano as though you were sat next, sat playing it, so it's got the cover on. But maybe we get a bit more top end and a little bit more directness if we took the front off. So now I've just taken the front off, revealing the hammers and the strings and all the other workings. The mic is in the same place it was just now. No acoustic treatments, just the mic listening to the piano. Okay, so armed with a few clips, you can get these in a hardware store, one of these sort of things. We can fix this piece of fabric here, we can fix them onto the the mic stands so that we can create a little sort of cloak over the piano and of course we can also do this so that the player can still sit down and play of course we have the advantage of this actually being played back from MIDI from a floppy disk drive but it's basically what we need to do is to extend the mic stands to their full length and then create a little angle at the top here so that this ends up doing that, kind of like this. So what I'm going to try and do is to hang the fabric so it's above the piano and down to the floor. So the same thing with the other one, we just extend the thing to its full length. You can use any sort of fabric, if you've got a bed sheet you can do it with that. This is quite a long piece of fabric and will hopefully do the job that we need. 
Don't forget, you can't get rid of everything. And it would be foolhardy to think you can, because actually, there's always going to be reflection. The piano itself is reflective inside. The sound sort of bounces off the interior of the piano. So you're not going to get rid of it all the time. So I'm going to use the four clips here. And have one at the base of the angled bit of the mic stand, like so. And then raise that up like that. Same thing on the other side. It is worth the effort, this, especially if you've got a nice piano like this and you really want to record with it. It just makes so much sense to sort of just have a go. It doesn't look very recording studio, this, but, you know, we just have a go. Now I'm going to take another recording. Exactly the same idea again. I'm just going to put the that same file through the piano, but with the acoustic treatment on. So I'll have to announce that as well. So piano with acoustic treatment, the front off. That's now being recorded underneath this fabric. Of course, you can also put extra things in the room if you've got bits of carpet. If you got, if you hang your washing out, that's really going to help. If you hang another bed sheet around the room somewhere in the back of the room, it just further damps those reflections. Anyway, now's the time to go into the studio and listen to the three different pianos that we've got. Here I am back in the studio with my piano parts all loaded onto the computer with the backing track that I used to record that sort of little G minor thing. So I've got the normal backing track which does this. So I've got that. Next, I'm going to play some of these piano parts. Now, for the interests of impartiality, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split the piano parts so that I've just got this first little riff. Now, if I just play back, this is just the little voice recorder. When I first played the thing into the piano and recorded it onto the disc clavier system, I had this. So, quite a distant sounding recording. It's obviously in a very bright room. Now, if I just split all of the tracks at bar four, move everything out the way that's, that remains, I can drag it all back in in a minute. Right, so let's just try uh, that, for example. Um, and also, I will split the backing track as well, to move that out the way. So now what I'm going to do is to copy these little um, bits of the backing track so that I can play that piano sound and I can basically arrange that there are four different pianos. So we're going to start off with the distant one, then we're going to have the piano lid on close, then the mic off, uh, sorry, the lid off with the mic close, and then lastly the fabric. So this should hopefully make a big difference. Here it is from the beginning then with the four recordings, starting with the distant recorder, then the lid on with the mic close, then the lid off with the mic close, and then the lid off with the mic close, put the fabric over the top. As you can hear, they get more direct as they go on. I'm going to play that, that back now without the backing track at all, so just the four bits of piano. Now that is arguably better, that last recording, than the very first one. The very first one... as opposed to it's eminently more mixable. Now, of course, the closer you are with the mic to the piano, it may not hear the ends of the piano very easily, like the bottom notes or the sort of jangly stuff at the top. But we have to ask ourselves how often you're going to be playing in those parts of the piano. If indeed you've got a lot of very low notes or high notes, then you've got to sort that out. But if you're in the middle, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Don't forget, we're trying to get a good sound out of a piano in a bad situation, which is that particular very present dining room. So just going back, let's just bring these 
all of these back to the beginning, get rid of the rest of the backing track, and see what the rest of the the rest of the thing sounds like when I use the just the distant recorder and the fabric. I'm just not going to bother with the other two. So uh, just unmute those. So here is the backing track now with just the distant mic on the piano, so the whole thing through. bit of noise on that recording as well because it was distant and the mic was turned down. Now here it is the opposite end of the scale with the fabric around the piano with the lid off. <laughs> much much better I think actually there was a phone trying to search for a signal just then in that recording which would have been a real shame so if there's a lesson to be learned with this it's to switch your phone onto airplane mode when you're recording there it was there's a bit of a rustle on the right hand side there oh well never mind the experiment at least shows how that fabric and a close mic with the lid off will really help your piano. Now, if you don't want to take the lid off or if it doesn't come off, you can open the lid at the top. If you've got a grand piano, you can put the thing inside. Just raise the lid up so you don't get a sort of a boxy sound. Now, of course, you can go the whole hog with this. I'm speaking to you at the moment on an AKG C414 mic. You could have two of those in an AB pattern on the piano. That's different from XY, which is what you've heard here, where the mics are actually orientated at 90 degrees to each other. The AB system, you have two omni mics. That is, it picks up the sound all the way round, completely equally, but you have them spaced. So I like to do it with a piano divided into three, and at each of the divisions, you put your mic. So they end up being sort of 18 inches to two feet apart, but a little bit further from the, the from the source so that you can pick up the entire piano just have a has a slightly more realistic stereo spread to it now of course with omni mics it's going to be picking up stuff behind so that room it would be even worse to try and use an omni setup there unless of course you've got lots of damping as i said before if you've got washing to dry or you've got lots of towels and lots of spare bed sheets duvets stick them up in that room just mounted on anything anything just to calm that room down and there we are 